In class, we worked on a problem uh, of creating an inverted index for a file. So by an inverted index, we meant a listing uh, that gives for every word in that text a, uh, a listing of the lines. It'll have the word and then the lines on which that word appears, together with a count of how many times it appears on that line. So the specific file that worked on was the Gettysburg Address. We picked that off the web. I want you to notice one thing before we actually look at the program and so on is that this thing has three um, sentences, even though it looks like there's three uh, paragraphs, but in fact, the way that um, Python is going to determine when a, um, when a line finishes is by looking for a new line character, and if you look at the file itself, so there's going to be actually, there's going to be a new line character over here, there's going to be a new line character over here, and there's going to be a new line character over here. Uh, so that means during the listing, we're going to take a, we'll see the lines in which the words appear. It's going to have either line one, line two, or line three. Right, so the idea is given this file as data, how do we create an inverted index uh, for that file? So here's the file that we're dealing with. This is what the output would look like for the Gettysburg Address. And uh, basically, the idea is that the first word that you see, the and, is one of the words in the file. And right after that, there's going to be a number and the number six is going to tell me that that word and appears six times uh, in, the, uh, in the file. Right? So that's what the six is. And then it's going to be followed by a list, and every element in the list is going to be a pair. So, for example, the one that says one, two, what that's going to tell me is that on line one, the first value here is going to be the line number. So it's going to tell me on line one, the word and appears twice. Um, and the next one tells me two, two. Well, that's going to be that on line two, um, it, um, the word and appears twice, and so on. Now, in fact, this is going to be the final uh, version of what it looks like. Um, there's going to be some intermediate version that we'll see when we actually look at the program. So that's going to be the case for all of these things. What it says here for battlefield, uh, battlefield is listed. Here's the word battlefield. And how many times does the word battlefield appear? So this says battlefield appears uh, um, one time. And uh, where does it appear? It appears on line two, and it appears one time on line two. Right? It's the same for each one of these. So as we saw, the word and appears six times. Uh, where does it appear six times? Where is that happening? So um, actually, it's, uh, it said once on, uh, twice on line one, twice on line two, twice on line three. So the green shows where it is, right? Here's an and, and here's an and. We saw this is one line. Here's an and, and here's another and, and that's on line two. And here's an and, and here's another and. So the total is six, and so it said on line one twice, on line two twice, and on line three twice. Okay, so they pick, the program actually picked this up, and it, um, it listed it for us. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to be creating a dictionary D. So here's our dictionary. And... Um, in the, every entry in the dictionary is going to be from one of the words in the file. So, for example, for uh, AND, the entry for AND is going to be a list that has two components, right? One of the components in the list, the first component, is going to be the 6, in this case 6. Why? Because 6 appears, uh, the, the word AND appears 6 times in the list. The second component, this one over here, is going to be a sublist. So this list, um, D sub AND, is the name of the list, the list has two entries. One of them is going to be an integer, and that integer tells me how many times the word and appears, and the second is a list, and it's going to have all the line numbers uh, that uh, my program found uh, the word and. And it's going to list it like this. It's going to say, I found the word and this many times. I found it on line one, I found it on line one, I found it on line two, and line two, line three, and line three. Now, this is an intermediary form, because as you see, that's not the way it's going to end up being listed. It's going to end up being listed like this. And when you see the program, uh, there'll be a function. The function is going to be called squish. And what squish is going to do is going to change the format to the one you see over here on the left-hand side. Right? It's going to give me a much more compact form um, to the one that you see here. So before we look at the main program, uh, just notice that there are four functions that are going to be used. Uh, the first two, the low and first, are going to be used basically when we do um, sorting. Uh, the squiz function is the one we talked about uh, just previously. What that's going to do is change the format of the list of line numbers. Uh, the one we're going to use right away is this one over here called clean. 
what clean does is basically cleans up a string because when we read a str when we read the um, the the file, uh, it's going to be I'm going to read it as one long string, but the Gettysburg Address, if you look at the previous slide, has uh, various characters that are not really part of the word. So, for example, we have commas, we have dashes, and so on. And what I'd like to do is I want to count the words, so I don't want those those characters to be part of the words. I want to clean up that string and get rid of them and just transform this string into this string so I just have the word 1 and 2 and 3 and that's what clean is going to be doing. If you look at how it works is the string, uh, the top string is going to come in, it's going to say 1, 2, 3 and I'm going to create an empty string over here called Y and I'm going to go through the original string X. Uh, the string X is this one over here, it's the original string and I'm going to go character by character and uh, if a character is not one of the characters that I want to get rid of, in other words, it's not a period, it's not a comma, uh, and it's not a dash, I'm going to concatenate it onto uh, the string Y. Uh, if it is one of those characters, if I is in X, I'm going to, I is the, uh, is the uh, uh, variable that's going character by character in the original string, if it is one of those string, if it is one of those characters, I'm simply going to skip it and then read the next character. So that's what happens over here. I create this S which is the, the characters I'm going to get rid of, and for i in the original string x, if i is one of those, then continue, but if it's not, then concatenate the one that you find, the character you find, for example, o and n and e, onto, onto y, and need to return y so it cleans up the original uh, string. So uh, here is the whole program. Uh, you can download it and uh, test it from the um, handout section. And you'll notice the top part is the one that we just saw before. Right? This is these helper functions. They're right over here. And the main program is the one over here. This is the one that creates the dictionary and enters the values into the dictionary. So what we're going to do now is we're going to concentrate on, um, on that part. So here's the main program. Uh, the first line here creates this dictionary D. And we're going to put in uh, the values uh, in D are going to be the actual words in the file of the Gettysburg Address. Um, over here, line tells us the line that we're reading. In the case of the Gettysburg Address, as we saw, it's going to be either a 1 or a 2 or a 3. Now, the Gettysburg Address is stored in a file called gb.txt. Um, since there is no indication of which directory it's in, which folder it's in, then by default it's going to be in the same folder as your Python program. And we also saw that uh, Python treats a file as an iterable so I can say for line in, and I can open this file over here, and every time I come back to the for, it's going to read the next line. Okay, so I get the first file, I get the first line, uh, so as soon as I come in here, I increment the line number by one, so now I'm in line one. Uh, the line comes in as a string. Um, what I do is I take that string, the string is called line, I clean it up with that function that we saw before, and then I call it line. So line is the original first line of the Gettysburg Address, which is that first paragraph, but at this point it does not have uh, any of the uh, characters that we got rid of. It has no dashes, it has no commas, and it has no periods. I then take that line, that string line, and I call split on it. What split does is it takes a string and it creates a list of every uh, word that it found in that line. Now notice split over here takes no arguments. We didn't give any arguments in here. So what that means is you're going to split based on uh, any of the white space. In this case, uh, if, it has any, um, if it has any tab characters that we didn't get rid of, if it has, any, uh, if it has a run of spaces, uh, it, will all be, uh, it will all become one space. Uh, so I might have a word that says, uh, you know, I might have the word and and that might be the first one, and then I might have whatever the second word is, and so on and so forth. Um, now, uh, I store that in L, so L is now a list of the words in the line that we're looking at. In the first case, it is uh, line one. Now, word is going to be an individual word in this line that we're looking at. Let's say, for example, the value of word is going to be uh, and. So there are two possibilities uh, at this point. Either we've seen it or we haven't seen it. Right? If we haven't seen it, that's going to be the first case over here. We're going to add it to the dictionary. If we um, have already seen it, that's going to be this case over here. 
and then what we're going to do is we're going to update the entry appropriately. So let's see how that works uh, in detail. So we have the current word. The current word is and, and we're going to assume that and is not yet in the dictionary, so we're going to be doing this. So what we have to do is we have to create d sub and, and then create that list that we saw uh, earlier on. We have to do basically the following thing. So d sub and is not on the dictionary, right? We're over here, and d sub and is not on the dictionary. So what we do is we create a d sub and. That's what happens over here. And we initialize d sub and with an empty list. So we have this list over here that starts at empty. And then we're going to put two things into the list. The first is the integer 1. Integer 1 means that this is the first time we found um, this word, the word and. And then the second thing we're going to do is we're going to append um, a list, right? A list with the line number. So that's this list over here, right? We're going to, this list over here. And the line number is going to be 1 because that's the line that we're on. So in other words, the first time we find the word, let's say the word and, we're going to do this. We're going to start with an empty list. That's this outside one here. And then we're going to create two entries. One, uh, the first one here tells me how many times I found it. Since it's the first time I encountered it, I'm going to say one. And then a list with the line number. In our case, we're still on the first uh, line, so we found it on line one. Okay, so now we continue processing the file, and we find various words. And then let's say we find we encounter an and again. So we're going to come back to the same code right over here, and we're going to be asking the questions that we see here. The question is, is word in the, um, in the dictionary or not? So if we've encountered it before, then word, in fact, is in the dictionary. And, and what we want to do is we want to increment the counter of how many times we found the word by 1. So in other words, we want to add 1 to this. And we also want to put the line number that we encounter uh, the word and on. We want, to encounter, we want to put it over here. So how, in fact, do we access this? How do I access this thing here? And how do I access the part with the line numbers? So um, this part, right, the part that has the count, that's going to be d sub and, right, and is the word. And d sub and is the whole list. Is the list containing both the count and the sublist. I want to get just where the count is. So this is d sub and, that this part over here, that is going to be d sub and sub 1, right? So d sub and, I mean sub 0. So d sub and sub 0 is the, is the counter. And if I want to increment that by 1, I simply say t, t, take d sub and sub 0 and plus equal 1. And so if I find and again, uh, this 1 is now going to be changed, say, to a 2, right? So this one over here is now going to become a 2, right over here, right, by saying this here. Now, how do I add a value into the list itself? So this is the second part. This, this list is the second part. So that is going to be d sub and uh, sub 1. d sub and sub 1 is going to be this part. And so if I want to add something to that, I'm going to say dot and I'm going to append the line number. So it's going to be dot append whatever the line number is in which I find um, the word and again. And that's basically how this thing works. So after we finish populating the dictionary with all the words in the file, uh, we find ourselves at this part of the program right over here. And now we're ready to print the list. Um, now, uh, remember, a dictionary doesn't store its values, doesn't store the keys and the definitions in any kind of uh, order. It doesn't store it, let's say, for example, in uh, alphabetic order. But I want to print out uh, my list in alphabetic order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take the keys in the dictionary and create a list out of those keys. So that's what happens over here. I take D, which is the dictionary, but dictionary means the uh, keys in the dictionary, create a list out of those keys, and LD is going to be the list of those keys. I then take LD, and I sort it. I sort those keys, uh, but I apply the function low um, uh, before I sort, uh, and what that does is it uh, guarantees that uh, everything is in lowercase, so all the letter A's get together, B's get together, and so on. 
if I wouldn't do this, um, I would end up with the um, capital letters uh, that are in the file coming out before uh, the lowercase letters uh, because they have a lower ASCII value. So I want everything to come out in order, so I apply uh, the function low, which is the very top of this file. I apply it uh, to the keys before I do the sort. At this point, LD now represents a sorted uh, a list of the keys, and I simply uh, go through that, I go through that uh, LD, and for every value uh, in the dictionary, for every key in the dictionary, I print out that key right over here, and d sub k sub 0, so d sub k is the dictionary value for k, so the word and will be in here, and, and then it prints out d sub k sub 0, which means how many times it uh, that word and appears in the file, and then this is the part that we saw, this is the squish function, and what the squish function is going to do is it's going to take uh, a fa it's going to take a, um, a a list that looks like this, say one comma one comma one comma two comma two and so on, and it's going to count up how many times I find this. So for it's going to say instead of one one one, it's going to say a tuple that I find three um, uh, that I find one. I'm sorry, I find one uh, three times. Right. So that means line one uh, appears. Um, um, the word appears three times on line one, and then it's going to say uh, two two, which means that I find uh, the word and uh, on line two twice, and so on and so forth. That's what Squish is going to do. It uses a list comprehension, and um, I'm going to leave that uh, for you to figure out how exactly it works.